about 200 bodies had been recovered and buried after gunmen suspected to be bandits invaded different communities in Anaka and Bu Kuya local government areas of Zamfara State. Some of the communities are Baraya, Zaki, Wonu, Rafi, Giro, Lahu, Lahu, Kafara, Danya, Kiwai, and Tonga Na. Sahara reporters gathered that over 200 corpses have been recovered from bushes as some of the people were caught unawares on their farmland. In Kurafad, Dai alone, sources said about 140 bodies of vigilante members were buried on Friday. The bandits, who were about 300 and armed with sophisticated weapons, had on Wednesday stormed the communities on motorcycles and started firing sporadic gunshots. The terrorists also destroyed valuables, adopted and displaced several persons, including women and children, in the affected communities. Deadly attacks have ravaged across Zamfara State, where banditry had thrived. Farming and herring communities in the state have long been terrorized by gangs who raid villages, steal cattle, and kidnap residents for ransom. In 2019, the state government entered peace agreement with the gunmen. About 15 brand new Hilo's vehicles and cash gifts were also given to the leaders of different repentant gangs of bandits by the governor in 2020. But despite all this, communities in the state are still being attacked and residents kidnapped and also killed. <laughs> Oh my God, this is really very terrible. I think um, the Northerners, they have to stand and defend themselves and stop waiting for anybody to defend them because nobody is coming to defend them. If they don't do anything now, this is how they will continue to kill them. They have not started. Another question now is who are these bandits? Because this is really very funny. You know these people, you know their hideouts. You even know their names and all that. And this keep on coming. This keep on happening every minute, every now and then. Under the watch of this government, they look the other way, pretending to be fighting corruption. And they are the worst corrupted government so far in the history of this country. These people who are dying every day, they are not animals. Though. They are human beings like every other person. Keeping quiet, all this thing is happening. God will not forgive them. That is the truth. Nigerians are dying for what they know know for what they know know about. It's only when the northerners will stand and tell themselves that they are tired of this banditry killing here and there and here. That is when all this will stop. If they keep on keeping quiet, trying to cover up because now their brother did is it, they never start to die. I ask again, who are these bandits? Where did they come from? Because I don't just understand their mission. Why don't you give Nigeria the answer? Who are these bandits? What are their missions? Where are they coming from? Yes, because they said that these people who are killing people, they are not Nigerians. Then what are their missions? Why are they killing people? That is it. Okay, let's quickly hear what Nigerians have to say. Oh no, these are not the kind of country and people anybody will wish to have. <laughs> this is really tragic. But the problem is not that people were killed. The real problem is that someone from one of those communities will come online and post the Buhari is the best leader Nigeria has ever had. That is someone posting from an IDP camp. I just wonder. Someone just dropped that. Like what I said, it's only when we stand, stand up and tell ourselves the truth and stop living in pretense. All is not well with Nigeria. You understand?
Because the real problem the government is having is that the president surrounded himself with fake people who does not even want to tell him the level of things going on in this country. If at all he knows, you understand? We have so many hypocrites. Maybe not for their selfish interests, nobody know. Because the thing just gets us to be. No day, no day you don't wake up, you hear all this kind of news. How bandit, Boko Haram, Fulani has men, or no gunmen, all of them. Everywhere. You get one Nigerian musician, one single song that time, say, Nigeria, Jaga, Jaga. Everywhere just scattered. No peace in any region. And we have government. If you talk, they will look for a way to push the blame to the opposition party, the past leaders, COVID-19. Even saying that Nigerians pressurized, uh, pressurized the uh, Buhari, persuaded him to come and rule Nigeria. Garabashe said that yesterday. And now the question is, is that why he failed? Because they persuaded him. You are saying they persuaded somebody that have, you know, contested for how many times before he won through the help of the Southwest people, Tinubu in quotes. Because they are the ones that brought this calamity to Nigeria. Nothing else have to stand and defend themselves from the hands of bandits. If you people are going to continue to wait for the president, your brother, your uncle, to come and defend you on this, you are on your own. Because these bandits, they are not backing down. They have not started. They have not started killing. They have not started killing. They have not started killing. They are going to kill more until you tell yourself the truth. That is just it. You will stand against these people. If you don't, this is how these people are going to be killing you guys like foul. Nnamdi Kano established the ESN to protect uh, the Southeasterners from the bush. Now, so not only as they talk, this and that and that. Even this one, when they talk, self, that Nnamdi Kano and Sandy Bo, who are agitating for their freedom, they are their real problem. They are their real headache. Not even bandits killing them. So the thing is just funny. How can you carry elephant on your head? You they use your leg, they pick cricket for granted. You have big problem in your own region. You know they talk about that. When bandits kill, destroy whatever, you see them, they go keep mouth shum. But once you just mention Nam the Kanu, IPOB members, Sunday Bo, Yoruba Nation, you see all of them, body they prepare them. What is going on? I'm dropping it here, guys. Kindly share your thoughts with us. What's your take? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you have not. And kindly give us a thumbs up. Thank you very much for always stopping by. I do really appreciate it. Bye for now.